A live look from our ABBA Eye Care camera. That sun hitting in the mountains back to our west. Beautiful sunrise shot there. It will be mild today, but I thought I would point out this major system again impacting the west coast. There's your low. There's that fetch of moisture feeding into Los Angeles, Southern California, all the way up into the mountains. That will bring rain and snow over into the Wasatch, Salt Lake City later today into tomorrow. And eventually we'll see some snow develop here as we go from Wednesday into Thursday. Until then, I-25 across the plains, it's going to be very dry as we sit under this ridge of high pressure. Now that low back to our west will kind of slowly meander up towards the Port Portland coastline there, and that will drive that southwesterly flow up into the four corners. So you've got a mild flow and downsloping winds across the plains. That's what's taking us into the 70s tomorrow. So the snow will eventually kind of break up, but we'll continue to see snow in the Sierra Nevada. There's your snow tonight up in towards Salt Lake City, the Wasatch, and a little bit of a rain snow mix in some of the lower elevations. We'll start to see a little snow in northwestern Colorado as we go from Tuesday night and into the day on Wednesday. So let's jump ahead. This is Tuesday at 2 p.m. Again, snow first, steamboat, and back to the west and up into Wyoming. Wednesday morning and then eventually as we go into the day on Wednesday some of that snow will spread along the continental divide and areas back to the west. Not a huge big snowmaker here and our chance for a few showers will be coming up Wednesday night into Thursday morning. So a little bit of snow across the Palmer Divide, a little bit of a rain snow mix. You get out into Lincoln County over towards Burlington. It may be just rain showers over the next five days through Friday. Most of that snow again is kind of along the northern tier with pockets there. There you get some heavier snow and just light snowfall amounts in the central mountains and back to the west. Mild and breezy this morning. Our winds have backed down a little bit out of the northwest at five. That's out of at the airport 40 degrees our camera is shaking around a little bit in the winds 40 in Pueblo 30s and 20s out across the plains this morning 35 Salida 15 degrees in Alamosa so as we head into the afternoon mild above average temperatures by 10 to 15 degrees 58 and 64 50s and 60s out across the plains about 54 in Salida this afternoon as we head overnight morning starts are going to be in the teens around Gunnison and Leadville 29 in Salida and then you've got 20s and 30s out across the plains, but get a load of the temperatures for tomorrow afternoon. We're all the way to 63 in the spring, 68 Pueblo, and there you have those low 70s out across the plains ahead for a Tuesday afternoon. Again, we are quiet the next three days through Wednesday with a few more clouds Wednesday into Thursday and a small chance for some showers. We are going to be cooler in the low 50s Thursday and Friday, but we're back into the upper 50s and 60s by Saturday and Sunday. For the Pueblo area, maybe a ghost chance of a shower on Thursday. Until then, very mild. We're back into the mid and upper 60s, close to 70 by Sunday afternoon once again. Monument there, northern El Paso County and across the Palmer Divide, we may see some light accumulations of snow from Wednesday evening into the day on Thursday. We'll warm back into the 50s though by the weekend Saturday and Sunday. Canyon City 64 and 65 the next 48, 62 and 55 Wednesday and Thursday. We'll work our way back into the 60s Saturday and Sunday. Woodland Park in Teller County, you're dry through Tuesday. Wednesday night into Thursday, some light snow and some light accumulations possible. We'll keep you attuned to that. But again, Thursday morning may feature